Writing a wrong more than 70 years later. That is what the family of Henrietta Lacks is saying as they settle a lawsuit over the use of her HeLa cells. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. The settlement in the lawsuit against a pharmaceutical company comes two years after it was filed by the Lacks family. So the family argues Henrietta Lacks cells were taken without permission while she was a patient at Johns Hopkins in the 50s. They are responsible for several medical and cosmetic advancements. Now, while details of the settlement are confidential, her family is celebrating a financial and historic victory. Paul Gessler reports for WJZ. Those cells were taken from Henrietta Lacks without her permission from Johns Hopkins doctors back in the 1950s as Lacks was dying from cervical cancer. HeLa cells, as they've come to be known, are used in so many products from cosmetics to vaccines. Say her name, Henrietta Lacks. As her family and their attorneys chant her name, they also celebrate what would have been Henrietta Lacks' 103rd birthday Tuesday. It couldn't have been a more fitting day for her to have justice, yeah. for her family to have relief. The relief in the form of a settlement in a lawsuit against Thermo Fisher Scientific, a pharmaceutical company they say knowingly profits off HeLa cells. Those cells taken from Henrietta Lacks in 1951 by Johns Hopkins doctors without her knowledge. They've been cloned, reproduced, and used widely, including in vaccine development, as recently as COVID-19 vaccines. It's amazing to find out that your grandmother's cells are used in makeup and used for dog food. And you all know the story, how her cells were robbed from her body. Her story inspired a book and an eventual HBO movie by the same name titled The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. The settlement details are confidential, but the family says compensation is long overdue. My grandmother gave the world a gift 70 years ago. And we're here today to give her a gift of justice. Lax's only surviving child, Lawrence, is now 86 years old, and his family says is struggling with Alzheimer's and dementia. Attorneys hinted at more lawsuits against companies profiting off her sales. If they can profit today, well, they can provide compensation today. In a statement to CBS News Baltimore, a spokesperson for Thermo Fisher said while the terms of this agreement are confidential, they are, quote, pleased they were able to find a way to resolve this matter outside of court. In Baltimore City, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.